Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current Eclipse version that is Eclipse 2022-12 on Windows. So it's very easy. Now you don't need to install Java separately to install Eclipse. So let's see how we can install Eclipse. Go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google type Eclipse. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. That means eclipse.org. Click on it. After clicking, when you reach the official website on the right top, you can see the download button is visible. Click on it. After clicking, now you can easily check the current version, which is Eclipse ID 2022-12. And it's written here that it includes JRE, that is Java. So you don't need to install it separately. So I'll just click on download to download it on Windows. Now the download section is again visible. Click on download again. Now the download will start. You can see 120 MB. Let's wait for a few seconds. Guys, you can see we have successfully downloaded the Eclipse current version. Double click on the exe file to install. Minimize. So the installation started, here is the installer. Different IDs are visible based on programming languages. The first is for Java. This is for C, C++. Below one is for embedded C++. This is for web dev that is PHP developers. So I'll be installing for Java developers. So click on it. Now you can see the Eclipse installer folder is visible. Here in our Eclipse will get installed. And here is the Java version. I told you that we don't need to install it separately. Install the Java JDK JRE separately. So when I'll click on the drop down, you can see three versions for the current Java version visible. So the current is 19.0.1. So I'll just select it. That's it. We don't need to install it separately and click on install. It will create a start menu entry as well as a desktop shortcut. No problem. Click on install. Now the installation started. Let's wait for a few seconds. So guys, you can see we have successfully installed Eclipse. Now I'll just click on launch to launch it. So when you will first launch it, it will ask you to add the path for workspace. So workspace is a place wherein all your Eclipse files, plugins, folders, projects will get saved. So I'll keep the default. It will get saved here and I'll just select this as use this as the default and do not ask again. Okay, it's fine. Click on launch now. So here is our Eclipse. I'll go to file directly now and uh, click on new and let's directly create a Java project. Project name. Let's say Amit application. It will take the same location, default location. If you remember workspace location, so it will get saved in the, the same workspace, which we were asked when we just, when we first launched the Eclipse ID. Execution environment, keep it the default. It took it automatically. Okay, we never installed it. Okay, so keep it as it is and risk keep the same and click on next. Now click on finish. So we have created the project. I'll just close the welcome screen. Click here. Now here is a project. Now right click on the on the source on the source file wherein we want a Java class file. Right click new and Java class. I'll name it demo name and package. Let's say Studiopedia. You can add any name. Rest, we can add a public static voidman and remove this because it, it is only a sample program. Click on finish. Now we have a demo.java file. I'll just quickly print something using system.out.println. This is used to print in Java. It is here. First Java program, that's it. We added this. Rest the package we added Studiopedia and our class name was demo. That's it. 
always remember the class name should be similar to the file name else there will be an error go to file click on save all now right click on your project here and click on run as and the first java application that is the following java application we forgot a semicolon okay i'll save it again right click and run run as java application here it is first java program so we successfully ran our first java program also on the current eclipse version so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current eclipse version we also ran our first sample program thank you for watching the video